I hate it. It's trash. Ugh, the Bubble Bass Reviews Show. This is exactly what you think it's going to be. And yes, it is absolutely beautiful. Say whatever you want about the Patrick Star Show, but one of the things I always respected was that it could be more experimental. The team is free to do whatever they want, less restricted by your standard rules of TV writing, like the main show. This time around, the new episode with a unique structure is Bubble Bus Reviews! Instead of diving into your usual story with the Star family, we begin in Bubble Bass's mom's basement, also known as his main HQ. He sits in front of a messy computer set up critiquing every little thing about the Patrick Star show. You know, I still can't believe this is an actual image from Spongebob. It not only confirms PowerPoint exists in Bikini Bottom, but that Bubble Bass is several hundred episodes in and just so happens to be the Nostalgia Critic. I can assure you, this was not a coincidence. Even the Nostalgia Critic himself came forward to react. The Patrick Show. I gotta do something about this. Yeah, Spongebob doesn't like you. Now, Bubble Bass has these different segments to show what's wrong with the Patrick Star Show, whether it be how you can't do something in real life, or animation errors that never should have made it to the final cut. Throughout his ramblings, there are some brief interruptions by his mom to show how so desperately lonely this man is. Aside from making Bubble Bass a nostalgia critic of the SpongeBob universe, I also want to say that this episode is genuinely written well. It portrays those internet critics so perfectly that you assume it wouldn't work in a mainstream property like Spongebob. Well, there's a reason for that. Part of the crew behind the Patrick Star Show comes from this generation. The one that grew up with classic YouTube and knows exactly how it goes. With some new blood behind the show's writing and storyboarding, this comes across as an actually hilarious parody. Bubble Bass Reviews isn't just in touch with its audience though. It has legitimately good jokes. For example, there's one part where Bubble Bass is talking about how shots in Patrick's show don't match up. They're not consistent with each other. Well, in the first part of this scene, Bubba Bass is on the right side. When we see him again, he's suddenly on the left and everything is Christmas themed. Oh yeah, he's doing exactly what he hates and I love it. Honestly, even when we step outside this basement and go somewhere else, the jokes just continue their home runs. <laughs> Since it just started raining. Good call. Call who? The next time people think about slandering the Patrick Star Show, I feel like Bubble Bass Reviews is a great counterpoint. From start to finish, it's an incredibly fun episode packed with references to actual reviewers and clever writing that takes advantage of the fourth wall. If you've been mostly ignoring the Patrick Show, then this is THE episode to watch. Thank you to everyone who brought this masterpiece into existence. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.